patrols. The tanks have been dealt with. Thank God. Let's hope they were the last. Don't count on it. I need the isolation chamber prepped at the GCPD lockup. I'm bringing in Ivy. Any progress with the fear toxin analysis? It's gonna take a little while longer. Drop by the clock to her when you're ready, and I'll show you what I've got so far. Who taught you to drive? Scarecrow's gonna break you, Batman. Honestly, why do you even bother with these meat sacks? Civil unrest? There's a war on the streets. We don't have the manpower or the equipment. Well, look who it is. Ivy. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Is the isolation chamber ready? Glad you're putting it to good use. Oh, good. Another cell. situation is this. We no longer have control of this city. Nobody's coming out. We come out there on the street, we'll do everything in our power. I've got men searching as we speak. Half the rioters out there have gas masks. Don't they watch the news? Scarecrow's toxin passes through anything. Gotham doesn't stand a chance. Not this time. There's not enough of us. You know, people forget. There's your regular wacko still out there. They sure as hell ain't taking the night off. We're moving as fast as we can. We can handle those punks on the streets, Batman. But the militia and the rest of those freaks, that's on you. Back the other way. We're on our own here. Hey, Batman. I think I'm starting to find Ivy, you know, attractive. Is that normal? You could start by telling the damn truth. I studied horticulture at college. Maybe that's it. Hey, Batman. I think I'm starting to find Ivy, you know, attractive. Is Being that normal? On this phone is costing lives, sir. This is time I don't have. I don't remember you being an expert.
more time so we're clear. Priority one. We're here to save lives. It starts with the lives of the It was Harley who broke me out of that police cell in Bloodhaven. Why don't you try arresting her? And a six-man element patrolling the perimeter. We keep this building locked down. The only people who get in or out are our guys and the Batman. We have outlying patrols searching for Scarecrow in Bristol, Kingston, Thresher, Otisburg, and Port Adams. We have a half dozen choppers patrolling the skies, but make no mistake, we are not in control. Until we know what we're dealing with out there, until we have a solid lead on Scarecrow, our priority is to dig in here and look out for our own. Okay, I'm gonna run through this one more time so we're clear. Priority one, we're here to save lives. And it starts with the lives of your fellow officers right here at this precinct. I want a minimum of four guys. Come on, answer the phone, damn it. Minimum of four guys on the roof at all times. Do not attempt to approach the rioters, you hear me? You're gonna get yourself killed. Hang on. I'm not a coward, Batman, but it'd be suicide to try and stop these animals. It's too many. One stuffed bear in a canister of Titan formula, owned by Bane, a.k.a. Unknown. We had to let Bane loose after the Arkham City fallout. Guy was messed up anyway. Serious Titan withdrawal. My guess, he's off somewhere getting clean, and he's not going to be happy when he comes back. One vial of Titan formula, one set of wind-up explosive false teeth, one pair of... Actual x-ray specs, 
one toy gun loaded with one toy flag and five real bullets. All used by the Joker. No known alias. It's one hell of a toy box. I'm glad no one's gonna play with it again. One custom tailored top hat worn by Jervis Tetch, AKA the Mad Hatter. The guy's mad all right. He tried to brainwash Batman in Arkham City. <laughs> he got the Wonderland kicked out of him instead. I hated letting him go. This guy's too creepy to stay free. A selection of body parts belonging to Warren White, AKA the Great White Shark. White got himself sent to Arkham on an insanity plea. He lost a few things other than his mind while there. Made the new look work, though, I gotta say. One freeze ray, used by Mr. Freeze, a.k.a. Victor Freeze. We, uh, had to stop playing with this after the commissioner caught us making ice cream. Freeze has kept quiet since leaving Arkham City. Maybe Batman finally talked some sense into him. One ventriloquist dummy, a.k.a. Scarface. This ain't the original Scarface. It's a Joker knockoff. Don't ask me why, but the clown took a liking to these creepy things. Two ceremonial swords used by Rosh. I mean, Rish al Ghul. We found these at the bottom of Wonder Tower the night of Protocol 10. They were covered in blood. No body, though. One Arkham Asylum branded shock collar, worn by Killer Croc, AKA Waylon Jones. We found this thing in the sewers under Arkham City. And that ain't good, cause it was supposed to keep that bastard under control. One rifle and two wrist-mounted guns used by Floyd Lawton, AKA Deadshot. <sighs> Another guy we had to let go after Arkham City got shut down. Still, that doesn't mean he got his toys back. One pair of shock gloves, worn by the Electrocutioner, a.k.a. Lester Buczynski. Joker hired this guy on the night of the Black Gate riots, and then he killed him. I heard Batman borrowed these for a while before handing them in. I guess he prefers beating up punks the old-fashioned way. One electric charge gun used by Batman, a.k.a. We don't like to ask. Batman dropped this here with the rest of the Arkham City evidence. Nice to have some of Batman's gear in the evidence room. Ovi doesn't ask for it back. One mask and jacket worn by Anarchy, a.k.a. Lonnie Machen. I wasn't even a cop when this kid tried to hit Gotham. No one's seen him since. No one knows where they're keeping him. I guess the government don't like anarchists too much. One Tommy gun, used by Peyton Riley, AKA the ventriloquist. Or maybe the gun belongs to the puppet. I never really understood what's going on there. Talia. I'm sorry. One ceremonial sword owned by Talia Al Ghul. Miss Al Ghul was a wanted terrorist and an associate of her father, 